Good morning everybody. I got my jammies on because it's still quite early here. Um, and this is what we're going to do today. Well, if you like it. I mean, if you don't like it, <laughs> do something different. But I'm going to show you how I achieved these today using Tim Holtz scraps. So I've, I ended up with four of them that I want to put in those side tucks that we made. So where's my journal? Here she is, the beauty that she is. So there's the side tuck. Now, with this one I have a bit of a problem because the butterfly's on this side as well. So let's move along to the next signature uh, and see which side it's on. Oh, great, it's on that side. So this is a kind of uh, duck egg blue brownie colour anyway. Uh, what I've used on here is salvage patina and vintage photo and I think they match really quite nicely. So that fits into there like so and I really like that. I think that is a good match. <laughs> but I need five in total uh, as we have five signatures. So I've only got four. So I'm going to take that opportunity to show you how to do them. So what I've done is I, this is exactly the same way as we used to make, what did we make? Oh, envelopes. Yeah, it's exactly the same. They're just overlapped on the back and glued and then I've stitched, uh, stitched around them. You don't have to do the stitching. You could also, if you really wanted to, use a piece of paper to stick these down on. I think it just gets too thick, so I like doing it this way better. But if you like to have a piece of paper that you stick onto, that's fine. You you know, you do you. Um, right, I mean, some of the corners on here are, are shoddy, but I haven't quite got the hang of turning around using this overlock stitch. But what I'm going to do now is add on some labels and stuff. These are labels from Witchcraft You Do. Oh, that one would go nicely there, wouldn't it? I mean, at the end of the day, you don't see a whole lot of the label, but it does alter the texture. This one in particular, you can see it takes the spray very differently to the, to the card. So I, I like the overall idea of it. And I might could get away with hiding some of my uh, rather skunky corners. Um, let's see what we've got. Let's lay some out and see. See where we are. Some of the ones that I think will work. Um, I really like those butterfly ones. But they're very white. Um, oh, I love the paint swatch one as well. Oh, lovely. Uh, that's just, I don't need too many. I like that one better than that one. Uh, that one, that one, that one. We've got to have enough there now because we don't, as I say, really need that many. I really want to cover up this mess. It's terrible. And this thing is anything but straight, but it is what it is. So <laughs> we live with it. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Somebody used to say that. Who could it be? Um, put that up there. What else have I got? I can put, I quite like that though. I'll put it over there, really over onto that side. Uh, that I'd quite like to go there. Uh, let's see what we've got left and where we need, where we need them. Probably there, but maybe a, have I got a lighter coloured one? Yeah, that one will go there nicely. So I'm just hiding my skunky corners. So that's basically what I'm doing. And maybe that one there. That's a bit too similar to that, isn't it? Uh, how about that one? I'll just do that nicely. Um, do we need any more anywhere? I think that's all right. I'm quite happy with that. Looks good. So let's just ink around those and get them stuck on. It's 
So I hope everybody's doing well this morning. I will at some stage get my clothes on. It's going to be, unless I pause quite a bit, there's going to be quite a lot, a long video of this. So, I might, well, for a start, I can pause you now because all I'm doing is inking around these and sticking them on. So you don't need to see that. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, that's that little job done. Um, right, now to chippity chop it. So my existing uh, ones of these that I want to, I want one more is four and a half by six. Let's just check that. Yeah, four and a half by six. So I need to definitely cut one out that is four and a half by six. So I'm going to use my Timot's rotary trimmer for this one. And I'm going to cut it at uh, four and a half. Whew, that took a bit of brain power. Which is there. So let's cut that. And then I can cut that six inches off there. Then I will have my... Actually, that's more interesting, isn't it? Let's cut six inches off the other end. I've got to use the other bit for something, but... That's my existing journaling card. So I've got one journaling card. Now I'm left with this piece that measures... Four and a half should be by six as well, by six. And I'm thinking I could get two pockets out of that. Yeah, so let's cut that at three. Because I'm after pockets as well. Right, so this bit's a bit dull, but we can get round that, don't worry. So that's two little pockets that I'm thinking will go on one of the shorter pages. Will they fit on there? Yes. Pretty nicely, actually. Or I could put them on the whole pages. They'll be fine on the whole pages as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I might cut some more of those. If I cut six inches that off, what am I left with? Ooh, nothing, pretty much nothing. But if I cut it to four and a half, I'm left with something like a belly band or something. Should we just do that? Should we do that? Let's do that. It doesn't like going through the stitching too much. So I'm going to cut all of these at, what did I say that was? Three, isn't it? Three. So, right, I've got two pockets. Ooh, right through that stitching. Doesn't like that at all. Three pockets. Four pockets and five, six, six pockets. I only need five, but it's quite good to have a spare. And then I'm left with this. Now this would make two nice tags. I did actually have a go at making tags. Um, they ended up a little bit skinny and I was using peeled paint. Was it? Was I? Was I? Was I? No. Speckled egg. This one, yeah. What's this? Peel paint, yeah. <coughs> I haven't sewn around them and I think ultimately they could be quite nice. So I'll make this into two tags and then I will at least have four. So I'll cut it at six. Which unfortunately is right through some more stitching, but never mind. 
so that will then be we'll have four tags we'll have the one journaling card and we'll have six pockets <laughs> but that's fine so let's move on to the next the next bit and hopefully when this is drying the next bit I'll get out of my pajamas who knows eh might happen might not happen some days very infrequently some days I just don't get out my jammies all day <laughs> <coughs> excuse me right so what's the next thing to do uh, the next thing to do is to use the stencil and this one is I don't know if you can see that it's, it's Tim Holtz numbers and I obviously haven't cleaned it at some stage because there's all acrylic on it and who knows what but that's okay and I'm going to use the distress texture paste in the opaque it's my favorite and my little palette knife hello where are you here it is so Is this really the next step? Yes, I believe it is. So we're okay. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit from the top and in from the sides and because I want to stitch through them. And I don't want to cover the whole thing anyway. The whole card. Just a bit. I'm getting all sort of black speckles in this from the, um, the black acrylic. But I'm not overly fussed. It's going to get sprayed over. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's have a look then. See what we got. Let's scrape that off. Yeah. Can you see that? Oh, it's not lovely. I've got little bits that I don't really want. Little bits of numbers. So at this stage, when it's all nice and soft and new, you can take off extraneous pieces like so and it's just one piece there okay happy with that really happy with that actually I love it so let's move on to the pockets now I haven't done any of these before so I'm not sure quite where to put them where to put the numbers and whatever but we'll see and don't forget we've always got a spare if we really do muck up <laughs> which is a possibility There we go, let's have a look. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. It's going to move that out the top because it might get in the way of a stitching. And that's fine. I like that. Yeah. Are we all alright so far? So, cable and wireless one. Put that there. just staying away from that top a little bit oh it's so nice I'm just going to take off those little bits around it and I'm also going to take off that bottom bit just so it doesn't hamper with the stitching but that's looking nice need some more drying room um, I might do some dotties you know just to be different because they can look really really nice Yeah, that looks lovely. I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's lovely. They'll all show up differently, you know, when we ink them and stuff, but um, I just like the idea. 
so with this one let's see if we can go from the other side down towards the bottom maybe a little bit over there yeah look at that it's gorgeous gorgeous I love texture paste I do really love texture paste that's fine I think I think I'm okay with that right this one's gonna need a bit of work let's do this one first I want to get the dotties fairly straight <laughs> I think that's, does that look straight? Yeah, straightish. Straight as necessary. one however which is our extra one so we can experiment on it we're not depending on it just put the lid back on your texture paste as soon as you can because it's a, a devil to to dry up on you and I'm just going to wipe the excess off my spatula as well palette knife whatever you want and that's that nice and clean so this one I think I'm going to stamp on it That's what I'm going to do. Um, so I've got my frequently used ones out here. Let's just lay some out, shall we? That might be the way to go. Right, so that's quite a few out there. And I've got Miss P at the ready. So I'm going to put well, I'm thinking I'm going to put that down there. Yeah, that fits. And, 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 and. I don't want to take too long over this because I've still got um, texture paste on my stencil. nice um, these are so dirty and dry you have to kind of stick them on let's put that down here Don't worry if it if it's not the most perfect stamp ever in all the world. Um, it's going to get covered with ink and stuff anyway. So rest easy about your stamping. I'll put that that way, just out of interest. Actually, I think that's probably maybe going to be enough. Yeah, happy with that. That will do me. So, now I have to wait for those to dry. And this is one of these interminable pro projects that, yeah, it just lasts forever. It took me all day yesterday to do the samples. So on this one, if that's dry, and I'll just take a piece of blue roll and dot that over there just to pick up anything that's not dry yet I think we were all right but better safe than sorry so I'm just going to drop this onto here again and put some dotties on then I'm going to go leave those to dry wash up my stencil and stuff and uh, I'll see you when they're dry so I'm going to go right you know over the uh 
over the stamps that we put in, partially, over the stitching, over these stamps at the bottom, and a little bit over that one there. Okay, get that back in, get that back on. And let's have a look what we got. Oh yeah, lovely, lovely jubbly. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those all to dry. I haven't done the, the two tags, have I? No, I haven't. Maybe I should do them now. They're both beautiful, aren't they? Um, so yeah, shall I use letters or dots? Or shall I use something different altogether? No, too far away. Um, let's use a bit of both then. Let's be radical. Use a bit of this and a bit of that. So I'm going to put that kind of halfway there. Put some dots in at the top. Coming into these le um, letters, what are called? Numbers at the bottom. So there we go. Oh, I like that. Yeah, like that one. That's okay. Just pick up those little pieces. Just going to make, make it good to sew. Right, that's that. Another one to dry and then this one. I might just use dotties on here. Still got some paste there so I can use it. Partially cover that label up. And some dotties down here. I think that's probably enough. I think that's enough. Okay. So that is it now. I really am going to leave those to dry. <coughs> wash my hands, wash my spatula, wash my stencil and come back to you when they're dry. They look good though, don't they? All right, guys. See you in a minute. So <coughs> there we go. Look at how much you get from one 12 by 12 piece. It's quite amazing, isn't it? We've got uh, four, five, six pockets, two tags and the other journaling card. So, I know what I'm going to do with that because I've already done it for the existing one. So, uh, that's easy. Let's do that. So, I have had my lunch. <laughs> I've taken my old nail varnish off. I've put my clothes on. So, all in all, I've been busy. Right, so that just goes into this makeshift splat box here. It's just a, a carton from Amazon. Um, we have a subscription. We get coffee every, I think it's every three months. They send us a jar of coffee. And um, it always comes in this box. And Mr. Ev always saves them. Because <laughs> he's like that. And uh, eventually one of them came in useful. So this is salvaged patina. And it's a Distress Oxide Spray. And I like the Oxide because it sits on top of the page, if you like. Whereas the, I think that's okay, the Vintage Photo that I'm going to use, the Ornery dis, Distress Spray, staying easy for me to say not. I'm just going to turn that around because I want a bit more colour on this bit here. probably sufficient for that and then my vintage photo which leaks I don't know I've got two of these and they both leak only the vintage photo that's probably sufficient I'm just going to get the water out and just move that while it's still wet Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that'll do nicely. I like these dotties at the top there. I should have prepared somewhere to put these to dry, shouldn't I? If I'd had any sense, that is what I would have done. 
but of course I didn't. So let's just take that out and put it along over there to dry. Right, so the other ones, the pockets and stuff, do I want them to be the same colour? Well, the tags, the ones I made yesterday, I did in uh, peeled paint. And you see, I've added a few little stamps to here. Um, it just looked like there was a lot of vacant space up there. So I'm just going to pop those in there. And I'm going to go back to my peeled paint. Which is an oxide as well. And it's a really good shaking up. There we go. I think that's okay. And same again. Same again. So I'm randomly just putting that on. And then I'm going to add my vintage photo. Doesn't spray very well this one either actually. As you can see. I'm sure that's fine. Let's get a bit of water on that. There's a lot of ink there. Okie cokey. Gosh, they're really wet. Put some blue roll down where I'm going to put them. I'm going to leave these to air dry. I think you get better colouring. I, I did um, dry them with an air tool yesterday, but I think you get a better result if you leave them look, to dry. So where am I going to put these next ones? That's the question. It's a very good question. So we've got these pockets. So what colour are we going to do these pockets? Should I just use Distress uh, Vintage, I mean, Vintage Photo? I could do that. They probably look quite nice. It's, I'm, I'm just going to pause and see if I've got any antique linen. Well, I couldn't find any antique linen, but I did find mustard seed. And it's, I, I love this colour. I love it. Love it, love it. So I think I'll use, I think I'll use that. Don't need to use masses, just a bit. So let's put these out in the box. We should hopefully get three in at a time. And that'll leave me another three still to do. So uh, these are both spray stains, they're not uh, oxides. So we'll see what happens. Oh, that sprays nicely. Oh, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And then I'm not gonna add that much of this vintage photo. Oui. I didn't mean to add. Oh, it's either nothing or sort of full on with this vintage photo. I don't know what's up with it. There we go. I've got quite a lot of, of vintage photo in there. I might just attempt to take some off. giving it more of a fighting chance, I think. But they do look nice, don't they? Oh, yes, they do. So let's see if I've got room for these ones. With a bit of careful placing, I might get them on there. Oh, they're looking nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so just the three other ones to go. So 
so that's those mustard seed and I will attempt a little bit of of this but I don't think it knows the meaning of the word little particularly that'll do that'll do me and a bit of water okey cookie let's just use this blue roll again and it's just a little bit too much down there it's just going to take too long to dry there we are all ah, right so i think i'll just move this and put these out onto my desk oh i love these There we go. So, yeah, off I go again. More drying time. This will take a good hour or so, I would have thought. But don't they look fabulous? I love them. Okay, guys, see you when they're dry. So, we've got everything dry and ready to work on. This is the one uh, journaling card to go with the other four that I made yesterday. These four uh, one of which has got butterfly on but I'm not sure which one bottom one that one and you can see this isn't quite as dark as that um, it does need inking around but it's just not quite as dark and maybe that's because the paper I've used is lighter maybe I just didn't spray so much on it doesn't matter they don't all have to be exact carbon copies that's the whole idea of you know doing things yourself so I'm just going to clip the corners off this I'm using the middle one and then we'll link it around it there we go um, so this is my inky and I don't want to get rid of that because on occasions I'll just add water to it and don't you know dunge something into it uh, yeah, so I want to use scorched timber. Of course I do. I never use anything else these days. And I'm just going to ink quite heavily around this edge. Because I like me a bit of grunge. It's like the more grungy you go, the more grungy you go. And don't worry about the the back of it the back of it will be pretty ugly um but we are going to back it so we'll be all right eventually <laughs> so right round the edge that's darkened it down considerably it looks oh it's so nice this bit up here is gorgeous and this bit on the label this that paper that the label was printed out on it's taken the ink completely differently to the tim holtz paper interesting interesting to see now i'm just going to go around the very edge and make sure i've got that edge of the paper covered because i don't like it when you can see the core of it the white sort of core of it it's not appealing so just take your time and go around there that's grand uh, right so now yeah now is probably the time to deal with the butterfly I think that's all I need to do with that I'm pretty sure yeah okay so I've cut cut out two let's reach the, the thing uh, it's a big sty and it's called, I've torn it, does it say on there what it's called? Tattered Butterfly and it's 664166. This has been 
of all the big dies I've got, this has been one of the ones that I've really used ever such a lot. Um, I love it. The, the big dies, I've got quite a few big dies that never really get out the box, but this one does. This is the smaller of the two butterflies, it's this one, and there is a much larger one which is fabulous as well. But um, that's those. So what I'm going to do now is stamp on them. I'm just going to get myself a piece of, of of paper, just in case I stamp off the edges. I don't really want Versafine on my... I don't know if I even want two. I'm just going to do one, because I think that's all I need for the moment. Um, and yeah, I'm going to stamp. So let's reach my frequently used stamps down. See what I want. That's quite a nice little one. Get my ink open and I'm using my Versafine Claire because I know once it's dry, it's dry. The water, no water or anything on it will alter it. Dry is dry. So let's put that up there and maybe down there. So I'm just I'm just stamping to give some background to um, to this whole thing. What does that say? No idea, it might be a leaf even. Uh, this is quite a nice one. I think we might have already used this today. Ugh. Let's wet the back of that. Should really take these and wash them. <gasps> yeah, that's lovely. And again up there, just on the wing tip. I don't want masses of stamps, not masses, but some. There's that those big numbers. I mean this one is just filthy. It's just there's no excuse for it, it's just plain filthy. Yeah, that's nice. And just up here as well. That's lovely. And I just want something to put down this the body and that's a very nice little number there that might do the job just down the body well it's attached itself there we are that's fine that's great right let's put those away we're finished with those And now, I'm, I'm not going to get the splat box out. It just seems like too much fuss, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to spray those. So, um, because it's going on here, I'm going to use the same colours, the salvage patina and the vintage photo. So, step up, boys. Yep, thank you. And it's a bit difficult getting ink to actually spray exactly where you want it. So just kind of aim for where you want and hope for the best. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. And then the vintage photo, more sort of centrally perhaps. going to get my salvage patina out again and do a little bit there uh, and there. <laughs> now there's a heck of a lot of ink on that. I mean like three million times more than I need, which might be a slight exaggeration. But So I'm going to just dip into that and get some gone. And then I'm going to put them on there. Oh, they look lovely, don't they? And dry them off. I'm going to use my heat tool because honestly <laughs> I started this this morning with my jammies on and it's now 10 to 5 at night so uh, I need to get a get a hurry on. So I'm going to pause you whilst I dry those with a heat tool. Okay I don't know if you can see those but look how gorgeous is that? How dirty are my hands? <laughs> oh not my arm, it's everywhere. No, I shouldn't be allowed to let loose with this sort of thing. So I'm going to get my inky board back up again 
and I'm just going to go around the edge not as heavily but I do want a, a presence of the scorch timber there So if, if this is not your thing, and I appreciate it's not everybody's thing, um, you know, you might not want to get dirty. And, and I don't blame you for that. I'm not a great lover of having dirty hands myself. But I think it's kind of worth it in the end. Where's his body gone now? What have I done with his body? Oh, come on. Where's his body gone? That's the body for... Ah, oh, there it is. I just couldn't see it. Phew, I was just prepared to get myself all of a flap there. But I found him just in time. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that on there, which is where he goes. And I'm going to staple him on. Because I like that. I like the idea of that. So I'm going to use my... Um, tiny Timmy attachment thingy. Might have to just give that a little bit of glue first because I can't hold everything at once. So just a little bit of glue. Keep it in place while we staple it. There we are. Let's see if I can get these in the right place. Let's go for there. Oh, that's the wrong place. Oh, I think I'm going to have to take that out. It's just too wrong. Too wrong. Okay, that got rid of that one. I was trying to fathom where the staple comes out of. It's come out the end there, surely, one would think. Like there, perhaps. Let's try that. Yeah, that, that's okay. I can live with that. It's like not perfect, but it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I just... I'm doing that because I like the look of the metal work um, and just the overall appearance of it. So I'm just going to press the backs right down so they're not going to cut through any backing or whatever. And get rid of that now. And yeah, that looks nice there, doesn't it? Do you think? I think. So what I'm going to do is just fold these up. Generally I get my ruler and I just put it down the side of the body there and just fold those up. Same on the other side. They will get squashed in your journal but they'll they'll never be flat. They'll never be as flat as if you just uh, glued them on. So there we are. We've got a good area now to, to glue. So I'm going to put that about there. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, as I was saying, if you... Oh, I don't know what's going on with my glue. If you're not into this whole inking malarkey, then just do an ordinary journaling card. You know, you can always get a die cut colour it in or not colour it in, cut it out a coloured card and there we go. So that's that one. It's lovely. I really, really like it. It is much lighter than the other ones. I haven't stitched around it yet. Um, yeah, it's it's lighter than the other ones, but I, I can happily live with that. It's just a bit of a point of difference, really. And not even that much difference. This bit down here is light as well. So, yeah, I mean, they definitely are a set. I love them. Um, so that needs so stitching around. This one's gone flat. Come on, perk up. I like you when you're perky. <laughs> and uh, before I stitch around it, I want to put a backing on because the back is kind of not great. It all needs consolidating. So I'm just going to use a piece of that grey card again, um, grey papery card, and I'm going to stick this onto here, cut it out, and then 
stitch it. So what I didn't do the last time, which was a mistake, um, I put the staples on after I'd actually attached the back. Um, so obviously you can see them. This time I've put it on before I stick the backing on, which is an utterly more sensible idea. So let's get some colour, I'll get this stuck down, get it stitched, and then we'll worry about what we're going, how we're going to decorate the pockets another day, I think. I think today has been long enough. And I haven't really got a plan either. <laughs> if I had a plan, I'd probably carry on. But I don't. And also, I hate to say it, but I'm lagging behind. Uh, when I was checking through my journal uh, to see which way the... I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue down there. The, the side tucks that we made, which way they were going, I realised I only had three and uh, I need five. So, yep, not too clever. Oh, that's all gluey down there. So let's move up to here. And it, they will straighten out. They, you know, they definitely, definitely will straighten out. I'll just, oh, I've got my brayer here at the ready. It's a, a brayer is a good thing for pieces like this that are a bit bumpy on the back. <laughs> a bit bumpy on the back. <laughs> Sounds like me. So you can get good attachment. And then what doesn't want to attach, which is usually the bits around the stitching, you can catch when you go when you um, go and stitch around the whole thing. There we go. So I just need to cut that out. With care, of course. And you can always re-notch your corners in with your tool if you don't want to go around it with the scissors. Concentrating, can you tell? This is the last corner. I'm going to throw that away because it's got glue on it and it's, it's horrible. So there we are. I mean, even that straightened it a little bit. Um, Let's make sure that's stuck down nicely. Looks like it wants to come off. Don't even think about it. Don't even let that thought cross your mind, Mr. Butterfly. You are staying there. I mean, the other way you could do this, if you don't want the staples, is just put a line of stitching through it. And that'll hold it in place, but that's it's going to be fine. So I'm going to go off now and stitch around that and then I'm going to think I'm going to call it a day. OK, so there we are. Finally, mission accomplished. And there's our lovely journaling cards. And we have got all of these fabulous tags and pockets. And um, that's it, isn't it? Tags and pockets, I think. Yeah. Um, to decorate on another occasion. But I think today, for me at least, has been amply long enough. I love these ones with a mustard seed. I mean, that bit there look at that bit there it's just gorgeous and it just really does show you that different papers take on the ink very differently which i think is really really interesting there's one of these tags that's got well that can you see that how it's oxidized it's gone blue which is interesting uh, and this one look at that one look at the oxidization there Woohoo! I love it. So, yeah, that's a problem for another day, however. And here is 
what we've achieved today. <laughs> You'd think we might have achieved more than the time it's taken, but no. So let's clear the decks a little bit and put out what we've got done. There you go. How nice are they? I mean, well, I'll answer my question. They're very nice. <laughs> you know what I really like? I really like um, this, where you can see the fl the florals coming through the, the grunge. I really, really like that. I might have to play with that further in the future, I think. Uh, anyway, there we go. Right, that's me done. I'm out of here. Um, I hopefully will see you really soon. It won't be tomorrow because, as I say, I've got some catching up to do. I'm, I'm behind on my homework. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to do a project for Elizabeth Craft Designs at some stage. But I will see you again, hopefully, before the end of the week. Um, I think it's Sunday, the beginning of the new month, or is it the last day of March? can't remember. Um, but I'm thinking on Sunday, all things being equal, which, you know, sometimes they're not. Um, but if they are, I'm hoping that Mr F and myself can do a live where we can introduce the new theme for the ATC swap. Hoo -hoo. So bye for now, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Please have a go. Just have a go. I mean, look what you get. They're fabulous. So see you soon. Take care, everybody. And remember, be kind. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.